okay so in this course mostly we will be focused on the four discrete distribution we talked about and the four continuous distribution we talked about okay so you all of you should be like uh, uh, this uh, discrete random variables four we discussed they should be almost you should memorize on your fingertips uh, and the continuous all this uniform exponential gaussian and Raleigh they should be also may not be Raleigh much but Gaussian all they should be on your fingertips. In addition to this there are other distributions we already talked about this uniform distribution on finite set of elements there are again like gamma distribution, Weibull distribution and Laplace distribution we will discuss them as they as we require add them okay otherwise uh, one can come up with the different uh, possible distributions. All we need to ensure is if in a case of a discrete random variables right like if it is like you have uh, this uh, let us say this is like a, some probability mass function of some random variable this is the valid probability mass function as long as i equals to 1 to n is sum to 1 and all this p x i's are positive. Any kind of a probability vector you can come which add up to 1 and positive this is a valid probability mass function and similarly you can come up with some function for all x and this is positive positive and as long as this is 1 this is an another valid probability density function for some random variable. You can come up with whatever you want okay like that people have come up with different but those have some special applications based on that they are called gamma, Weibull and Laplace I will, will uh, use them whenever we incur them okay now often when we have this random variables we will not be much bothered about what is the exact value but uh, we would be interested in on an average what happens for example this entire class is there maybe all, some of you will get I mean it is not necessary that all of you will get the same grades right but what matters to me is what is the average grade of this class that will define what is the quality of this class maybe if some of you got A fine you that is one or some individuals got and some of you got let us say CD some of you got but that is not like an individual case matters to us like what is the average grade of this class right in that case like uh, what each one of you score it is like a particular realization like I can treat the score of this class as some random variable and uh, there are about 60 students and the uh, value scored by you as the different realization I am going to see for me like particular realization is not so important what is important is the average score if the average score is high then let us say you are the current batch average score is higher than the previous batch average score I, I may feel that I will feel that uh, maybe I did a good job or you people did a good job like overall the class performance is better so like that it becomes uh, uh, useful to compare the overall behavior okay so that is where we will look into the expectation and variance which will help us to understand the aggregated behavior rather than the individual behavior okay so now when we have this discrete random variable we said that we will have this uh, point masses and the expectation of that random variable is simply defined as the weighted sum of the realization where the weights being their associated probabilities. So notice that here my random variable x is taking values x1, x2 with the probability p, x, i's and what I am doing is xi is being taken with probability p, x, i. I am multiplying and summing over all possible values. Even though I have written here i equals to 1 to infinity, it could be finite. 
okay when you have only finitely n like if you have only n terms in this this is simply going to be i1 Just a minute. What is this DFT? Yeah, this is something called a discrete Fourier transforms. I mean that that Laplace arises in that context. Like uh, usually in uh, signal processing, when you are processing your speed signals, one has to deal with a certain kind of. Uh, uh, I mean Fourier transforms. One of them is a special thing called discrete Fourier transform. We do that. Some special distribution arises. That special distribution is called as Laplace. There. All I'm saying is Laplace is one kind of distribution which has application in this uh, speech modeling. Okay, like that. V bool is another kind of things distribution which finds application in reliability and survival analysis. I don't know what some of you who are. mechanical engineering uh, you people study something called uh, reliability course you study reliability course maybe later yeah so there you will end up uh, seeing a weibull kind of distribution and uh, when uh, somebody in climate studies or civil engineering people may be interested in studying uh, the amount of rainfall accumulated in a reservoir for example how much of the water gets accumulated in our power like in monsoon region Maybe that needs needs to be studied. We need some models, and maybe that uh, gamma kind of distribution will find applications. Okay, so depending on application, people have come up with different uh, distributions, and I have just listed them. Like instead of going through all of them. Okay, this is your expected value in the discrete case. Similarly, like if I am given a probability density function, what you are going to do is. you know like when you go from discrete to continuous the things change from summation to integration and the pmf change from pmf change to probability density function that's what we are doing okay and uh, now you have this uh, expected value of your random variable now the other quantity we just uh, said what is expectation variance variance is how the value of random variable varies around its mean okay so how the things behave with respect to the mean we want to capture and one way to capture that quantity is called variance and that is defined like this okay let's say i have a random variable x and i have expectation of x is expectation of x is a random quantity or a constant is a constant let's say i want to define a new random variable x minus expectation of x can i define a new random variable like this so now what i want to understand is i want to take square of this and take its expectation and that is exactly is my variance that is what its variance is yes. now again how to compute this if it is a discrete random random variable you just find out this quantity like i mean this quantity actually okay let me ask you let's say if my x takes values x1 x2 up to xn okay and when i do this operation y hypothetically assume that y also takes value y1 y2 yn that is x1 gets mapped to y1 x2 get maps to y2 and xn gets maps to y1 by n now i want to understand what is the probability of xi 
and what is the probability that y equals to y i? Is there any relation between them? Hmm? Will they remain same or different? Others? They are going to remain same, right? And here I am specifically assume that there is a one to one mapping. Okay, so whatever the probability I have x1, the same probability with same probability I will get y1 also. Like that. Now, it is now basically finding because of this, if I want to find expectation of y, this is simply expectation of yi times uh, yi, but uh, this is nothing but probability of xi, but yi is now uh, xi minus expectation of x squared and that is what we have written here. Maybe I should uh, boundary pe chala gaya. P of xi times xi minus expectation of x. But we have it. And similarly, in the continuous case, as I said, we are going to replace summation by integration and the discrete probability by the associated uh, density function. Okay. Now, I talked about different distributions, right? These are some uh, like uh, these are some discrete distribution we talked about and uh, there are some different uh, continuous uh, distributions we talked about and each of them with comes with a certain distribution. Now, Bernoulli random Bernoulli distribution with probability p. If you go back and compute its mean value, it is simply going to be p, whereas its variance is going to be p into 1 minus p. This is obvious, you can calculate. Okay. And binomial np. So recall binomial has two parameters n and p, and its mean is going to be np, and its variance is going to be np into 1 minus 1. So notice that means and variance depends on their parameters. And for geometric, this is going to be 1 by p. So let us compute for one of them. Let us say, um, let us take x to be geometric. So what are the possible values x takes in the geometric distribution? So 1, 2, up to infinity. And what is the probability that x equals to i? P? Where is q? Say again. 1 minus p into 1 minus p power i minus 1 into k. Okay. So there are i minus 1 failures, and after that, there is a success. That means there are tri I success happened in the i trial. Now, what is the expected value of I want to compute? What is the expectation of expectation of x? Now, this is going to be probability that x equals to i into i itself. i equals to 1 to infinity now. Right? And what is this value? This value is going to be 1 minus p i minus 1 p into i and now i equals to 1 to infinity. Can somebody, now you can simplify, try to simplify this p i equals to 1 to infinity 1 minus p i minus 1 i. Now can you find out what is this value is? What is this in integral summation is? How? So what is this? Like if you want to write it as we can write it as d by dp of what is this quantity? d power i. This is not exactly the case, but uh, you can imagine like this. 
because integration and differentiation you can't always interchange like this some conditions has to be satisfied you can't blindly do this but i have blindly interchanged uh, for time being integration and summation okay now you do this this quantity you can find it as p into 1 minus p square is it correct this quantity is going to be 1 minus p square i am blindly assuming you are right and then it is going to be 1 by p so that's what we get it and you can also find out variance so variance you need to do little more computation because square terms are involved you do it so like that you can do so some of the things to notice is if i have a poisson distribution with parameter lambda its mean and variance are also going to be lambda only okay and uh, if i have exponential with parameter lambda its mean is going to be 1 by lambda and its variance is going to be 1 by lambda square and this gaussian distribution with parameter mu and sigma square mu din, mu is corresponds to its mean and sigma square corresponds to its variance okay so like that so i want you to go through all of this table even though we have put it here you should work out this make sure that you are getting the right things at least once you should do so that it's like little bit get drilled in your head you do it once at least so that uh, it remains little bit longer term with you if you don't uh, calculate once even though it could be little bit uh, manual you have to write some four or five page of calculation but do it okay okay fine this is all about the discrete and continuous uh, random variable and the distributions and their associated functions like expectations and variances.